Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 10 in the New Messianic Version for September 10, 2023. The Proverbs of Shlomo, Solomon. A wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivers from death. The Lord Jehovah will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famous, but he casts away the substance of the wicked. <clears throat> He becomes poor that deals with the slack hand, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. He that gathers in summer is a wise son, but he that sleeps in harvest is a son that causes shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a babbling fool shall fall. He that walks uprightly walks surely, but he that perverts his ways shall be known. He that winks with the eye causes sorrow, but a babbling fool shall fall. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. Hatred stirs up strifes, but love covers all sins. In the lips of him that has understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is this strong city, the destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tends to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is in the way of life that keeps instruction, but he that refuses reproof errs. He that hides hatred with lying lips, and he that utters a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wants not sin, but he that refrains his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver, the heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but the fools die, fools die for lack of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord Jehovah it makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. As sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding has wisdom. The fear of the wicked shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passed, so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to him that send him. The fear of the Lord Jehovah prolongs days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord Jehovah is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall ever be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just brings forth wisdom, but the perverse tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable but the mouth of the wicked speaks forwardness. You were stumbling a little bit. My eyes are extremely tired from paying too much attention today, especially with a lot of driving. And then reading this, like I've said before, with some of the brackets and parentheses can be difficult. It kind of breaks the rhythm. Righteousness delivers us from death, right? So... You might get treasures and stuff here on the earth, but if you lose your life, you lose your soul, but it doesn't matter, right? He becomes poor that deals with a slack hand, but the diligent makes rich. Do what you do. Do it good. Do it hard. You know, get up every day and be disciplined. Just had that discussion again last night with a good friend, like, oh... I need motivation. It's like, no, homie. Ugh. Motivation comes and goes. Energy levels wax and wane. But discipline, cultivating discipline, will get you there. Can't sleep during harvest. You'll cause shame. You have nothing to eat. So you got to strike when the iron's hot and work when you can, right? And we have a couple examples here where it's like the wicked 
their name rots, fades away, does not last, or is grumbled at by the people. Whereas the righteous, they last in the land, and they're praised by the people, and they're recognized. And twice it talks about the babbling or chattering fool shall fall. So keep quiet. Keep listening, right? Meditate on the commandments. Stay upright. In your mouth should be a well of life. And violence covers the mouth of the wicked. Always up to something. Always up to strife, trouble. That's that's what's marking their lips, right? In the lips of him that has understanding, wisdom is found. Oh, man. People can rely on their wealth, but it's fleeting. It says a rich, rich man's wealth is a strong city, right? But it's also, you can't take it with you. It's only maybe security in this life, not the next. That's why you need to be giving it away and using it to benefit other people to build up your treasure in the next life. Again, with the spring of life, also, the lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for lack of wisdom. It's like a candle, right? You don't diminish your flame by lighting other people's candles. So the lips of the righteous feed many. You can teach people to bless each other and to speak well and about the promises we have, and then they will go and bless other people and, and repeat what you said. So be sure you're saying the right and wise thing. It's a sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding has wisdom. So it's just like, hey, what can I do now? Ooh, you know it would be funny if always plotting, always scheming, even at the cost of other people. vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes and when you send a lazy person to do a job it's offensive it bothers you it's oh it's cringeworthy painful even so don't choose that person choose wisely right and several times we have implications here that the righteous won't be removed from the earth or won't be moved in their time of calamity or will not have total loss will not fall out and this sorry going back to read the mouth of the just brings forth wisdom but the perverse tongue shall be cut out so talking wisely and talking from a seat of wisdom um, like draws it out draws out more wisdom but I was reading this and then backtrack the lips of the righteous know when it's acceptable <sighs> ah! but the mouth of the wicked speaks forwardness these people don't care what they say and how it affects other people but we know when we said the wrong thing went too far you know stuff like that and we can recognize it so we also have a chance to make it right, ask for forgiveness, forgive others. Man, it's been hit or miss. Back is really bothering me today. Oh. Nothing like getting told that you think you're perfect, right? When the insult, the true insult isn't that phrase that they think is the insult. The insult is that that person doesn't know me well enough to know that that's not true. I mean, I don't share the depths of how much I know that I'm not perfect on here, but I do try to be open and transparent. And um, I think anybody who watches these videos know that I'm quick to admit my faults and my failures and try to learn better. So, to be told that I think I'm perfect, um, 
trying to let it roll off my back because, like I said, say what you want, have your opinions of me. But I obviously don't think that I'm perfect and I'm open about my struggle and my progress and the fact that I'm trying to be better every day. This is like literally the channel motto. So, trying to let it go, not let it sit with me more than it has to. But that was just the icing on the cake of a couple days, you know. But hey, Sunday, got to see my church group, house church friends, and um, got to go do see the bus and preview some pizza for the coffee collab bus and um overall it was okay so worked as much as i could and now i'm on my way out the door to continue to do that i don't know if i can make it till 3 a.m again tonight we'll see if it's hopping if i'm making money or not but oh man it's a beautiful night it's almost virgin on chili i can't believe i'm saying that fall here we come but with that go with god be blessed